Here we go, onward to EQ. I promised you EQ, this is where EQ happens, okay? And that would be R-E-A, EQ. Couple of things about EQ. Well, actually just one thing, it's very simple. You have audio coming through and you cut it or boost it at certain frequencies, okay? Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. And the best part about this EQ is that you can see exactly what, harmo what frequencies those are. So until you train your ear, which I recommend you do, and you just start listening to what the EQ does at different places, like you'll, you'll, then you'll suddenly know the nasal range is right here. This is like the breath or sibilance. And this is like kind of the mud of the thing. And this is the fundamental. Okay. And so that's an easy way to remember this. Start listening for it though. Fundamental is number one, the mud or the room or the, the boom. That's all around number two. Presence, nasal, <laughs> that's all around number three. And then the breath is all around number four, and so is the sibilance. So you gotta be careful with what you do there, okay? So what we're gonna do first is cut off all the low frequencies, because if you're on a USB microphone or something, you're gonna be like, man, I don't know what to do. I just keep getting this low rumble, and it's like everywhere. So like, my, I think I just need better equipment, man. Wrong, you're wrong. What you need is a high pass filter. So we're gonna click on this little type. High pass. And now look at that. And like did this little cut thingy. It's cutting into the, into the frequencies all below 100 Hertz. That's right here, that number. Frequency Hertz, 100. And it even gives you a, a note, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna just play it again, okay? I'm gonna play it without this one. So you click the, I'm just gonna click. Just going to click the enable button. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. Oh, well, I, I might just do that. Now I'm gonna play it again. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So you'll hear you, nothing really happened. But if you have a noisy rumble or like trucks outside your, your wall, you will notice a difference with that. Um, next, I want to You'll notice that when people are on the radio, on the radio, their voices are really deep and low and beautiful and, oh, look at me, I'm so awesome, right? Because it's really low and the reason that happens is because they're boosting their fundamental, fundamental harmonic, fundamental harmonic, fundamental harmonic. It's really just boosted. Yeah. So that's what we're doing on this thing. I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna, uh, my fundamental harmonic in my talking voice for this particular one, I'm talking up here. So it's gonna be higher than if I was talking down here, right? So on this particular, Elijah Lucian is the best thing. It's gonna be up <laughs> around 80, 80 or like 100 and something de decibels. Or pff, decibels? Oh. <laughs> Hurts. Hurts, all the hurts, it hurts, okay? What you wanna do, make sure you never do, ever, ever, ever for voiceover, is cut off your fundamental harmonic. And I'm gonna show you an example of that, okay? So I'm bringing this high pass filter, the cut. Um, I'm gonna cut off my fundamental harmonic with the high pass filter, okay? Take a listen. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. Okay, sounds unnatural, right? And thin and gross. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So there you go. Um, that's what happens when you cut off your fundamental harmonic. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that and bring it down to minus or to 80 hertz. And that's even when I dip down to, to this right here. That is about 80 hertz. And it won't cut that. Because if you cut that in voiceover, you, people will just be like, well, that sounds like a really cheap mic or... You know, it sounds weird. Normal people will be like, it sucks. You don't want people to say that, <laughs> obviously. So we're gonna boost at 100-ish and maybe a little down and then uh, play it again with our proper cutoff, high, high pass cutoff. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So, so that sounds pretty good. Um, but you notice when I boosted that low end, I started to get like this kind of muddy sound, like a, a boomy, it sounds almost like boomy, right? 
Elijah Lucian is the best. There's like a little bit of like mud in there. That's around here. Or that's where two was. And that was about 300 hertz. Okay. It's different for every voice. If you have a higher voice, it's going to be up a little bit. Basically, uh, if you take a look at Elijah Lucian is the best. So there's like, you'll see these little pokes everywhere in the, in the chart or in the frequency response. And those are every harmonic of your voice. At the lower end, you don't have many of them because uh, don't worry about that. You want to take you basically your first and second, maybe you want those to be like nice and present. But then the other ones, the, the next harmonics, you want to bring those down. Uh, because that's the mud in your voice. So we're going to do that. I'm going to grab um, uh, the EQ and we're going to break it down at 400-ish a little bit. And then I'm going to scroll. I'm using my scroll mouse button to to narrow the bandwidth. And what that is, is uh, the bandwidth is how far your that particular band that you're using. These are called bands. Every Every specific point in the EQ that you're manipulating is called a band. So we're going to bring down that at about 350, 400 ish. Um, and it's going to bring that. I'm going to do a little test. AB. Okay. Here we go. Disabled. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. Now we're going to enable it. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. And suddenly it seems like there's more error, error or something in that. You know what I mean? Um, I can even turn it up a little bit. I can see my harmonics are just kind of bouncing here. But it sounds a little bit lighter. And that maybe that's even too much, like two. And then this might even be too much. I think that's still like two. You don't have to do a lot to make it sound good. So now this is where it gets fun or tricky or whatever. But this is basically all you need to do. Okay. This right here. And uh what we're gonna do after this, we're gonna DS. But we're gonna I wanna bring the breath up so that our DSing is even more effective. So let's take a listen again. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So there's not a ton of sibilance in this, right? Um, I want to use the, now I'm going to go to number four, bandwidth, band four, and I'm going to use the high shelf, okay? And that's just going to bring up everything on the top end. And you can be like, oh, this could sound really bright, or, you know, it might sound okay. So let's take a listen. Look. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So there's a bit of harshness in there. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm a fan of that uh, for this particular microphone, this particular voice, which is mine. Um, I'm just going to keep that. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to narrow the bandwidth. So we're just working at about, let's just, let's just get the breath in the air, which is about eight, six, seven, eight thousand hertz. Elijah Lucian is the best. Give him all your money. So there's a bit of that, um, there's a bit of air. It's not too harsh either. Um, I kind of like it. Uh, so uh, let's move on. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Mess around, find your nice parts. One other thing I like to do, um, I think I can add another add band. Here we go. Um, so I just added another band. What I like to do with my voice on specific microphones like this dynamic microphone I'm using is I like to take out that three, three kilohertz area. It's for me in my voice, you could kind of in this, this little crunch I have in my voice, that's all around three. And on some mics, it's too much. So I actually like to take that down right there. So if you find you got like, it's like, oh, I don't know what it is, but like, it's like right up here. And it, it just like, kind of like grates a little bit, um, you know, that's that's around the th two, three, four. And then if you have a nasal, like just that, it's like, oh, I just hear too much nasal voice. That's around one kilohertz, okay? Around, around these areas. It's not at that area. Look, listen, feel, okay? If you're like, oh, that's got a really nice chest sound. That's all down here. That's in that, you know, that's in that fundamental harmonic. And then... It's like that boom, that hat, that that roomy or that boomy, that uh, throaty kind of, you know, uh, mud. That's all here in this 300 hertz. Okay. So, anyways, now that we know a bit about EQ, and that should be enough to get you going to find your settings. And the, remember, the best part about this is that once you got it, you just hit save and you record like crazy. You just record everything. Okay. So.